Hello guys, welcome back on OCP Technology. My name is Shripal and today we are going to learn how to create our database in the Oracle 19C on Linux platform. In this video, we are going to use the DBCA method to create the database. Before starting my tutorial, I request to you, if you are new on my channel, please subscribe the channel and press the bell icon so that you can get my all the new videos in your mailbox. So without wasting your time, let's move on the computer screen and do the practically. First of all, just export the Oracle home, go inside the bin directory, forward slash and just write here the DBC. Okay. So the DBC will helping us to create a database. Just select the create database and next. Okay. So just select the advanced configuration here. Next. Template will be the general purpose and uh, database type is a single instance database. Okay. Okay. Just enter your global database name, your database SID, and uh, I'm not going to create a container database in that uh, database. So if you want to create it, then you can use this method. Okay. Then click on the next button. Okay. In this section, we have a uh, two options. So select second one following for the database storage attributes. In this section we have a uh, two options choose the file system and database file location also if you want to use the omf feature in your database then select the checkbox i'm going without a omf feature after that just click on the next button in this section we have a uh, two options first options for the fast recovery area where we can set the fast recovery area attributes and second is the uh, enable database archive mode we can also set both parameter values after the database creation i'm going to leave both parameters so just press the next button in this section you can create a listener for your database otherwise you can create the listener after database creation using the netmgr utility so i will create the listener after the database creation so just press the next button you can safely leave this section the section is related to database security so just press the next button okay this section is very important because here you can define the database sga pga area you can define it automatically or if you want to define it manually just choose the options which you want to apply okay in my case i'm just going with the automatically option the second most important area is the character set of their database okay so just select the character set of your database carefully after that in the last check you can select the sample schemas if you want to create some sample schemas in your database then select this option and then press the next button in this section we have a two options if you want to configure enterprise manager for your database then select the first one option if you have a cloud-based enterprise manager access then you just select the second option and provide the credential of the cloud control okay so uh, i don't want to create any enterprise manager and uh, i don't have the credential for the cloud control so i'm just going with the just uncheck and press the next button in this section we need to set the password for the sysn system user then press the next button click on the yes button in the first options create database here you can uh, set the post db creation script so i don't want to execute any post db script just click on the all initialization parameter button and check the uh, your parameter values which is uh, right now configured for your database click on the customize storage location and here you can just customize your control file location data file location and reader file locations okay after that just apply and then close the button press the next button and here is the database response file which containing all the information about your database if you want to save this file just click on the save response file button and save this file after that just click on the finish button now your database creation process has been started it will take few minutes till then i'm going to pause my video okay in the end of database creation then you can see that section where we where is the options password management so just click on the password management button and if you want to unlock any schema of your database uncheck the section and enter the new password and confirm password then the schema will be unlocked okay click on the close button and you can see your database creation has been completed okay let me log in in the database and check some basic information okay 
export the Oracle SID. Login in database. Okay, you are logged in the database. Let me check the database name. Data file location. Control file location. Okay, so finally our database creation has been completed successfully. If you found this video very informatic, then please like, comment on and share this video. And if you are new on my channel, then please subscribe the channel and press the bell icon so that you can get my all the new video notification in your mailbox. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video. Till then, take care. Bye-bye.